Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Gale and welcome to another face paint tutorial for Face Paint Forum Shop. Uh, today I'm going to show you a really quick swirly eye design that's easily achievable when you're out painting. So I start off by sponging some uh, fusion, it's a fusion pearl colour and it's called Ocean Mist. I'm just covering the eyelid and we're using a teardrop sponge so we can get right in into the inner of the eye and then Oh, just above the cheekbone, on the cheekbone and just above it. And then I've got a BAM stencil, this is number 1406 and I've loaded up my little finger dobber with some Superstar teal and snow petrol and I've kind of mixed them together to make a little slightly darker teal colour. And you want to position your stencil so it points towards the inner eye almost. You just put them in as random patterns. I really like this geometric pattern with their swirls. I think they're quite a nice contrast together. And sometimes when I'm out painting and somebody asks for an eye design, they say, I don't want flowers. So you sometimes get into a bit of a panic and think, oh, what else is there other than flowers for an eye design? So it's good to practice different designs using your line work and stencils are great for helping you out with this. And so with a low Cornell number two brush and I'm using some DFX black, starting at the corner of the eye just swirl up and this is going to provide you with the start of your, eye, of your swirly eye part and you can use this to work out where to put the rest of your design. And then the same swirl again, just going back round on the top of the cheekbone. And I've gone back over these swirls to create like a double line on them, just to make them a bit thicker. And then you press down and pull up with some teardrops. And then another swirl across the top above the eyebrow. And just want to curl it round so that it follows the curl of the other swirl there. And I keep re I, in between. I like to reload my brush quite a lot, so um, just so that you get it nice and black. Because the blacker it looks over the top of the colour, I think it's more striking. And then the last bit of line work starts on the inner of the eye, and then across the eyelid up to follow that original swirl. And if you ask the person you're painting to keep their eyes closed for a while so that it gives the chance for the black paint to dry then it doesn't smudge when they open their eyelid. And then I'm using another BAM stencil, Stars stencil, which I love. I use this a lot. And I'm just filling in any gaps with, uh, with some more DFX black on a finger dobber and just Wherever you see a space, you can put some stars. It looks nice if you do sort of bigger ones at the top and then smaller ones towards the inner of the eye. I must apologise if you can see my dodgy henna on my hand while I was doing this. <laughs> Me and my daughter were uh, practising henna out in the garden. I'm not the best at it and uh, I did it. we did it out in the sun and it melted slightly on my arm, so that's why I've got this really dodgy henna on my hand. So you can see I'm using two techniques, so you can either dob the black paint on like that, or you can rub it across the stencils for the smaller ones, sometimes works just as well. And then a few more stars, just towards the inner eye, just to bring the design in to a point and the same underneath as well. And 
And then I've got a number four low core nail brush and this is Tag Neon, uh, orange neon paint. It just really stands out over the top of the blue. I really like, I really like teal and orange together. Um, if you didn't want to use neon paints, you could just use a bright orange would look equally good. Or a bright pink would look really nice as well. So I'm just put my paint nice and gloopy and just doing a few little dots on the inner of the eye. And you can just place these dots wherever you have gaps. It's always better to use a slightly bigger round brush and then that way you can get slightly bigger dots with more pressure and then smaller dots just on the tip of the brush. And if you didn't have any of these colours you could use white for the dots. That would look really good as well. And the final step is just to spray the design with a bit of glitter. I've got some iridescent glitter in a little spray bottle. And that's the design complete. Uh, don't forget to check out Face Paint Forum Shop for all these lovely products. And you can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram as well. Thank you for watching.